Good morning, everyone. My name is Carol Distel, and welcome to Discover Manufacturing Week. I'm joined today with Jerry Hill, who's going to help me co-host, as well as Kirsten Schulte, who's going to be working our videos and presentations. So thank you for joining us today. We have a pretty packed schedule with four manufacturers, um, actually three right now. One of them is still trying to join us, so it might just be three. Uh, but we want to let you know a few things before we start. So first of all, um, we do want to hear your questions, and there's a question and answer um, box. So please add any questions at any time. We'll be taking those questions following and um, answering them um, out loud. However, some of our panelists will be looking in there to see if there's anything specific to them and answering them and writing the questions back. Um, each of our panelists will go speak first, like I said, and then the questions will follow following. Um, anybody who does submit a question will be um, put into a pool and we will be giving uh, two $25 gift cards out to um, students who participate in this particular webinar. Um, even if we don't get to um, answer your question, you'll still be put into the poll uh, or still be put into the pool for the, the gift card. Following, we have a survey. So once you close out of this webinar, there will be a survey for you to complete. So please do that. Students who complete that will also be put into a, a drawing for some gift cards. And finally, there'll be some information about scholarships for seniors in there as well. So with that said, I have a lot to go. Uh, so we are going to start. And good morning to Mandy and Johnny from Quality Car Wash. How are you guys doing this morning? We're doing great. Good morning. Good, good. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Fantastic. I'm Mandy Brower from Claudia Carwash. I'm the Chief Operating Officer, third generation. It's been a family business. And here with me today is Johnny. Yeah, and I'm Johnny Rodriguez, I'm the Director of Team Member Services. So I'm responsible for the recruiting and hiring along with human resources uh, here at Quality Car Wash. And we have a quick video for you. Hi, I'm Mandy Brower, third generation owner of Quality Car Wash. We are so excited that you are gonna Spend the next 10, 15 minutes learning about what we do and how we can impact our community. And we would love to have you come join our team. Quality Car Wash was started in 1969 by two brothers, Sonny and June, the Essenberg family. And we are celebrating 51 years in business. Our mission is to impact the lives of others. We want to add value to them. So their experience with us is not just getting gas or getting a car wash, but really add value to their day. And then we want to serve. And anything we can do is to serve our community. We are involved in the community and we have been for many, many years. We're working this year hard on growing into new communities in the area and uh, are excited about opening in Grand Haven in 2021. I'm here to tell you about our five locations of quality car wash, soon to be six. We have four in Holland, Michigan, one in Muskegon, and soon uh, 2021, Grand Haven, Michigan. Working at this company, there's a lot of things to be proud of. So whether we're giving back to the community, and whether we're just doing a deed for the community and a good service of washing their cars, there's always a lot of things to be proud of working here. There's always room to grow and move up in the company, you know, becoming a shift leader, the step up program. I love working here for the everyday challenges. So nothing is ever the same uh, from day to day work. It's always different. Uh, I come in and have a new challenge every day for me. So I like to kind of work at every challenge differently and exceed where I can. Thanks for joining our webinar today. We look forward to having you apply at qualitycarwash.com slash careers. We'd love to see your smiling face on our team. So as you know, uh, 1969 is when we started. We've got currently five locations across West Michigan. Uh, we have gas, sea store, car washes, and uh, we also have Tim Hortons. We've got two restaurants uh, with inside of our locations where we do baked goods. We've got baking and uh, drinks. Uh, we've got baristas and we make great sandwiches as well. So uh, if any of those are interesting, go to qualitycarwash.com slash careers. You may have seen a little bit about Tommy's Express and Tommy Car Wash systems throughout town and also in our video. 
Over the years of creating quality car wash in the family business, we've also implemented some new brands. And uh, Tommy Car Wash Systems is an innovative company that builds car wash equipment and buildings, and we sell that across the world. There are Tommy buildings in Australia and a variety of uh, other countries as well. I think we're in nine different countries right now. And then from there, we created Tommy's Express, which is a combination of Tommy Car Wash Systems and Quality Car Wash, the operations at Quality Car Wash, and the building systems of Tommy Car Wash Systems created Tommy's Express. And it's a franchise. We are the franchisor, and we franchise those sites out across the country. And uh, you may see that Hudsonville, Jenison, Rivertown. Those are corporately owned stores that we run. Quality Car Wash is just a division of the whole family that we're uh, doing. So we're here representing Quality Car Wash. But if you are part of the Quality Car Wash Club, you're also part, um, you can be part of the Tommy Club as well. And you can wash your car not only here in Holland, but you can wash your car across the country where the Tommy Club is accepted. So kind of some fun facts. Our culture is very important to us. And just like you saw in the video, our white hot why, enriching lives, adding value and serving communities. So if that's something that aligns with things that you like to do in life, it's very important that you come check us out. Our seven core values, we talk about we own it. We're responsible for the actions that we take as individuals, the actions that we take as a company and as a team. And we've broken that down into W, wow factor. It's important for us to deliver a wow factor to every guest every time. That exceptional guest experience, we wanna make sure again that we're adding value and we're impacting lives and creating an experience. It's not just gas, it's not just a cup of coffee, it's not just a car wash, but we're really creating that experience. Uh, oh, outstanding teamwork. We work together as a team. We have early morning people. We have closers. Uh, we're open from 5 a.m. to 11. So it's a variety of different shifts, very flexible scheduling. But we really want to, you know, emphasize that teamwork is really important. Bringing your winning attitude. You know what? 2020 has been tough. It's been a difficult year, but our team has risen above the challenges and every day has worked hard to bring in that winning attitude to definitely have an outstanding team. A uh, never ending pursuit of excellence. We always try to do a little bit better the next day than what we did the day before. Always try to improve, whether it's our buildings, our service, the experience. Always try to just do a little bit better. It's a great um, thought in life and at work. Immediate call to action. There's things that are important that we need to respond to right away. And uh, most things aren't going to fix themselves. So it takes us to jump in and uh, create immediate call to action to get things done because every guest is important. We want each guest to receive the same great experience. And then T training. And that's really reminding us that every day, not only are we going to teach people new things, but we all need to be open to learning new things as well. And uh, here's Johnny to talk about some other things at Quality Car Wash. So as Mandy mentioned, 2020 has been a, a really uh, interesting, different, uh, challenging year, as many of you know. And uh, Quality Car Wash is an essential business. So uh, during the, the shutdown, um, we were still open. We had to be and, and provide essential uh, things to our community. So uh, we, uh, we have not lost stride. And in, in certain times, we could be counted on. Uh, we serve our, our community in food, fuel, um, and other essential services. We have the appropriate safety measures uh, that we have put in place uh, for our team members uh, because they come first. They take care of our guests. And so, um, as Mandy mentioned as well, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Is, is when we're open to serve. And a feather in the company's cap, I really believe that uh, uh, was a focus of the quality leadership team was to not lay one person off. Uh, there were times where uh, people had to stay home and we still covered them and we took care of them. And so uh, that's something that speaks volumes to uh, what this leadership team and what the family and, and quality car wash stands for. Um, if we move on to uh, the team member community and who they are, um, the benefits of being part of a, a team, it's, as you saw in the video, it's a fun, exciting work environment. Um, yeah, we're getting wet a little bit, and in the summer, it's a nice, nice uh, uh, feeling to get that breeze, 
but uh, there's, a, there's a great team, great community. We all pull together. Um, there's a variety of work. There's flexible scheduling. We do our reviews every 90 days. So you're constantly getting feedback from leaders, uh, potential uh, for raises uh, four times a year. Um, health benefits and insurances that stand up to uh, with most companies in West Michigan. So quality stuff there. 401k match, the company matches what you put in and uh, vacation, family matters, PTO. And then we have something called the step up program. So those people, as you can see, there's an example here. Um, it's just an example of the roadmap of it. And we wanna make this individualized. So those uh, team members, uh, and you only have to be 16 to work here. So I'll touch on that. But those team members that start with us, we want them to know that there's a career here that they can grow with us. And we're looking to add one to two locations each year. So Mandy mentioned the Grand Haven location 2021. Well, new sites means new opportunity. And we have to start building leaders from within. And that's what the Step Up program does. And uh, we'll, we'll give you the tools that you need and resources to be strong leaders. So if that's something you're interested in, it's here as well. And then uh, currently we are hiring. And as I mentioned, you only have to be 16 to work at Tim Hortons and Quality Car Wash, the variety of shifts that are there, the variety of work. Uh, and we're trying, we're blend some of that as well. So definitely looking for strong team members for the Quality Car Wash team and our Tim Hortons fun, supportive work environment. And then if you ever want to learn more and want to connect for a tour, you can reach out to me at my email um, is uh, jrodriguez at qcwteam.com. Learn more about us at our website, qualitywash.com slash careers. And then uh, we also do some internships. Uh, there's many roles for mechanical in our car wash, controls, electrician types of uh, experiences. So really we're more than just a car wash uh, and gas station. And I encourage you to learn more about us. So thank you for taking time to, to let us uh, tell our story. Thanks everybody. Next we have Renee from Royal Technologies. Good morning, Renee. Happy Friday to you. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Royal. Uh, we're glad you're here and excited for you to be a part of Manufacturing Day. My name is Renee and I help with training. Jesse is a technical trainer. Jackie is an auditor. And Megan is a recruiter at Royal. I'm going to give you just a little background. Royal started in 1987. We're locally owned and we're located in Hudsonville. We have four manufacturing sites in Hudsonville, a plant in Alabama and another one in Texas. We have three different ways or processes that make our parts. We do injection molding, assembly, and urethane foam. But before we jump into more about Royal, we're gonna have you watch a short video. It will be a tour of the Quincy plant. Then we'll come back and give you a little more information about Royal. We are here in Hudsonville at Royal Technologies at the Quincy site. My name is Bakir Muhammad, a plant manager here at Royal Technologies. I'm gonna take you inside and show you what we do. Just welcome to the inside. We're gonna look at a little bit of what we do right this way. So Royal Technologies is a plastic molding injector where we, and we also do value added assembly. I'm gonna show you a little bit about of how a molded part gets made. So plastic injection molding is from plastic pellets, which comes from resin, which actually comes from crude oil. And these small pellets of plastic get put into a machine and injected through a barrel at a certain temperature and shot into an injection molding tool. And I'm gonna show you what comes out. After that plastic is shot into that injection die, they come out formed as plastic components. We make multiple components from, from automotive parts to furniture parts to industry standard parts. Before coming to Royal, I'd never worked in a manufacturing plant. So when I came to Royal, I was surprised of how clean it was and how organized it was and how everybody worked together. I love that we all come together to work to make sure that we, we get the common goal done, which is to make sure that we send out quality parts each and every day. Royal offers great opportunity for career development. We have apprenticeships and supervisor uh, responsibilities, which is soft site leadership and technical leadership. Uh, we also offer tooling apprenticeships that develop um, employees uh, into understanding tool and die. And we also offer maintenance apprenticeships, which allow students and or employees to work through a program to develop themselves in the maintenance field. And we give uh, employees opportunities to develop themselves as soft site leaders 
and technical leaders. We have a curriculum that lasts for six weeks that trains you. We have another uh, mentor application beyond that that walks you through actually performing some of those responsibilities you learned throughout that curriculum. And we train you to become one of our floor leaders in Injection Molding Bay. Thanks for stopping by. If you want more information, go to rolltechnologies.com. Hope to hear from you soon. So in the video, you saw how the parts are made. So as a company, we do about 45% automotive. These are parts inside of a car, like door panels, cup holders, backs of a rear view mirror are some examples. We do 45% furniture, the backs, the bottoms and arms of chairs. These are the chairs you're gonna see in the news, the sitcoms and the commercials. And then we do 10% consumer goods, like both speakers in a car, DeWalt toolboxes, some parts for Whirlpool, for washers and dishwashers, and Remington gun stocks. So that gives you a little feel of what we do. Now we're gonna switch gears. And Megan, would you like to start us out and tell us about the entry level positions we have open? Yeah, thanks Renee. So uh, as you saw in the video, we do injection molding. So we have operator positions open right now and assembler positions. So our operators are the ones who are actually running our injection molding machines, pulling those parts and pieces after they are formed. And our assemblers are taking those pieces and adding value to them. So no plastic experience is needed for our positions. Uh, we train you, teach you how to do that and do that successfully. Uh, we just look for people who are a good culture fit here and who enjoy fast paced environments and then enjoy working hands-on. Um, so if you're not sure if college is for you, check out Royal Technologies. We're hiring for full-time positions. Um, go to royal.com is our careers website. But if you are looking to go to college, we also offer um, summer help. So May through September, we're looking for students to come in, help us run our presses or do assembly work. Um, and right now we're looking for second and third shift, uh, starting at $15 an hour. And we offer that paid training, a family-like work environment here, lots of advancement opportunities. We're closed on Sunday, so you never have to worry about working a Sunday here at Royal. Um, so for all of our positions, we really teach you how to do your job successfully through paid training. Um, so I started as an intern and moved into my full-time role. So there's lots of different opportunity advancements um, here at Royal. Uh, our operators go through a two-week training to learn our paperwork and our systems. And from there, um, if you're looking to go into technical roles, we have something called Royal University, uh, which is a place where we actually teach you and help develop your skills and then your leadership as well. So Jesse, could you explain a little bit more about Royal U? Yes, thanks, Megan. Um, so if, when you start your technical career at Royal Technologies, we'll, we have a four um, part plan of going through that. We have what's called the technical operator position. So um, being an operator, but we're giving you more responsibilities every day, working with our utilities and our supervisors on their day-to-day -day task. Um, from there, we go into um, our utility training. The utilities here, they'll set a lot of the dies, uh, do a lot of material changes and also help out with the uh, other supervisor duties as well too. Uh, we have a, in that class, we have a, a six week um, online training class and then you will also be working with a seasoned bat out on the floor, learning, your, learning the duties, learning how to do those different tasks. Uh, from there, we uh, graduate you into what we call the supervisor, the technical leadership training. Um, this is another six week class where it's one-on-one -on -one training you'll develop the skills to program robots, to program the injection molding machines, and learn about the process of injection molding. Uh, we also will do the leadership classes, um, the leadership of Royal there. Um, and then once you graduate from that, you'll go into what's called our mentored application. In our mentored application, you're working with a seasoned vet um, supervisor, just learning the day-to-day -day duties uh, what it takes to be a leader and all of our technical skills. So after that, you'll graduate and then you'll become a supervisor at Royal Technologies. Back to Megan. Good deal. Hey, thanks so much, Jesse. Jackie, would you like to share a little bit of why you like working at Royal? 
Thanks, Renee. I've been with Royal for over 14 and a half years. Royal Technologies is an exceptional company and it's been a really amazing experience for me. Being employed in, in a company like Royal, I've had the opportunity to work in both assembly and molding and I've enjoyed the challenges and the achievements of both departments. I've gained new skills and took on new job responsibilities and I've gotten to grow here as an auditor. And it's been such a rewarding position for me. I love that I can contribute my ideas, my positive attitude, my hard work to help Royal be as successful as we can be. I've had the opportunity to work in a company that takes care of their employees and strives to make us better every day. It's great to work with people who respect you, motivate you, and want you to be at your very best. I say, we'd love to have you here at Royal. Then be part of a winning team. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jackie. So if you're curious about Royal, we're provided an email and a website you can check out. And again, thanks so much for spending time with us and learning about Royal. And again, you can see, check out our website, go to royal.com and have a great day. Thank you to you and your team, Renee. Special thanks to Megan and Jesse and Jackie. Next, we have Stacy with Herman Miller. Good morning, Stacy. How are you? Good. How are you? Terrific. Happy Friday. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so I am Stacy from Herman Miller, and um, we are a manufacturing company that produces office furniture. Um, so I will talk a little bit about um, our great initiatives the company has to offer, and then um, a little bit about my experience as well. Um, but we have a video to show first. We design for the good of humankind. We create products, services, and technologies that help people wherever they live, work, learn, heal, and play. You've probably seen Herman Miller chairs without knowing it. We've been spotted in Pitch Perfect, The Hunger Games, and even the recent presidential debate. We also recently launched a line of products to help pro gamers and esports stay healthy while they play. Our products are built to last right here in West Michigan, with manufacturing in Holland, Zealand, and Spring Lake. Each site works with different products, including tables, chairs, desks, cubicles, and metal for things like shelving units. There are many different roles to keep things running smoothly. Manufacturing associates assemble our products. Machine operators help run machines and tools. Material handlers make sure materials get to the right spot. Facilitators solve problems and keep things running smoothly on the line. Work team leaders take care of scheduling, development, training, and more. Engineers, electricians, and machine repair mechanics create machines and keep them running smoothly. Our people are at the center of what we do. We have on-site health clinics, cafes, and fitness centers for employees to use. And we offer a variety of other perks like pet insurance and paid time off to volunteer. We make it easy to build a career in manufacturing. Our leadership and development programs help people become facilitators and team leaders. Apprenticeships train team members to become electricians and mechanics. Internal internships offer the chance to work in another area of the business. And our tuition reimbursement programs help you go to college fully paid. Our business runs on manufacturing. Our iconic products and 100 year plus history would not be possible without the hard work, dedication, and problem solving of our manufacturing teams. Come build your future with us. Um, so I'd like to start first by sharing some of our great benefits and incentives. Um, our healthcare benefits are really nice um, and there's different options to choose from. So you're uh, single or if you have a family unit, um, there's different choices and options for everyone to choose from. Um, and then there's, there's also good discount programs that you can participate in. Um, we do focus on being healthy and staying active and fit. So um, there's a lot of good um, discounts if you do that. Uh, we partner with Vanguard for the 401k and Herman Miller does do the um, 401k matching. So that's really nice. I started my 401k when I was 21 and I already am set, you know, I have a great start for retirement and I know I'm going to be taken care of down the line. So that's always a nice comfort to have that just kind of ready for you. Um, the stability is amazing at Herman Miller. Um, we really focus on having set hours 
and the set pay. Um, so there's no surprises. Um, you have your set paychecks. Um, the only extra surprises if you have overtime, that's more money. So that's always great. Um, and then if, if you do have overtime, they're really good at letting you uh, know ahead of time so you can make arrangements and um, just be ready for those things so that you're not at the last minute like, oh, I have to stay extra two hours. It's planned a whole week ahead. So you kind of know your schedule. So if you're someone who likes to have a set schedule, this is the place for you. Um, we have great competitive wages, um, paid vacations, paid time off. Um, so that's always nice. And then a lot of different career paths and options um, to choose from. The starting entry levels are uh, manufacturing associates, uh, material handlers, and then machine operators. And then from there, you can kind of grow into either facilitators, you can go to a work team leader, supervisor management positions, continuous improvements. And then from there, we have a lot of different development um, that you can go into if you want to look even further um, to quality or engineering, uh, customer service. So when it comes to our development and growth opportunities, um, we have a couple different classes you can take, uh, communication and leadership classes. And one of them is called customer connection. So if you really don't know what you want to do or you don't know very many other areas of the business, you can take this customer connections class and it's just a great class to network and get to know a little bit about the other areas of the company. Uh, and then we also have a operations career and development team. And they really focus on team members who know they wanna do something else, but don't exactly know what or how to get there. So you meet with them and I actually utilized them a little while ago. Um, through my journey and so going through and I started out manufacturing associate and then did the facilitator for 10 years and then off on to work team leader for a few years and I still know like I like what I do but I still want to do more and what can I do without having a college degree um well Herman Miller is great with that and um I really wanted to kind of go into human resources and I didn't know there's how many branches of human resources there is with like payroll, um, production, benefits. There's so many different branches. So they kind of guided me in the right direction. And then they get you with the right connects um, and who to connect with. And I realized that there are some roles coming up where you don't have to um, go to school and that I can use all of my career learning that I have so far and use that to help me out. So it's just great to have a place that can kind of guide you and throughout your whole career. And I am excited that I actually have a career. I just thought I was going into a job. So to be able to have a career and then to keep building on that and it's paid for. Um, the classes I take are paid for. I just did a um, intermediate and beginner Microsoft Excel class. And so I'm getting paid to work and getting the class paid for and continuing my learning and growing and development. So at Herman Miller, the, the just experiences and the opportunity for growth are just endless. So I really enjoy it. And I think it's a great career move. Um, if you're interested in applying, you can go to uh, www.hermanmiller.com slash careers. Look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. We really enjoyed learning about Herman Miller this morning. Daniel from Gentex is next. Good morning, Daniel, and happy Friday to you, sir. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Daniel Quintanilla. I am the talent acquisition manager at Gentex Corporation. So our responsibilities is to lead kind of direction in all our areas of recruiting. So hourly, university recruiting, um, and our salary corporate recruiting as well. Uh, I got a PowerPoint to show you a couple of slides before we get into our video, talk a little more about Gentex, and then eventually talk about manufacturing in general too. So who we are, so uh, Gentex, um, the video show will talk a little bit more about what we do, but uh, we're a technology company specializing in electro-optical products. We're best known for turning the mirror into electro electronic module for custom delivery of advanced electronic uh, features, uh, primary market, so automotive, so digital vision, connected car, demo glass. Um, I saw a question for Royal about, you know, who their products are on. 
And so we do work with Royal quite a bit. They're very important to our uh, success here at Gentex. And we provide um, automotive product around the world to every uh, original equipment manufacturer, OEMs we call them, they can think of. So think Ford, Rolls Royce, BMW, you name a car, we put some product on it. So you can all say Royal put their products on that as well. Um, aerospace, uh, electronic dimly, dimmable windows, and then fire protection. That's actually how we started a long time ago was fire protection. So some fast facts about Gentex. So established 1974, um, our operations headquarters manufacturing are in Zealand. So um, we're, we're pretty fully vertically integrated. So um, of our 5,245 employees we have there, about 5,100 of them are in Zealand, um, West Holland, West Michigan area. So uh, employ quite a few people in this area. Uh, sales in 2019 were at 1.86 billion and we shipped 43 million mirrors in 2019. So imagine how many cars that is. Uh, we are putting a lot of mirrors on and um, we are extremely busy right now. Um, so actually our, our numbers right now are record high of volume. So we're also hiring for all levels of hourly interns, entry level engineers as well. Then one last slide before we go to the video. Or maybe two slides. Um, but talk about more about our culture. It's what binds us together. Um, culture is an output. It's not a variable that can modify its own. So we believe that beliefs plus behaviors equal that culture. Um, and our foundations is our core beliefs, our ownership mentality, devotion to quality, uh, devotion to innovation, and unpretentious management. Um, and that's how we live out our corporate values. It's through our culture. And we hire um, to those foundations as well. It's important to us. The next slide will show our uh, our HR um, goal. It's our mission statement. It's uh, creating the conditions where employees can do the best work of their lives. Um, that's, I think that's important. Uh, no matter where what position you're in, that you you want to do the best work of your lives. You want to know that um, that the work that you do is valuable. And and all these companies that great companies have employees that do great work it, that's valuable to the community. Enough for a video. If you live in West Michigan, you've probably heard of Gentex, although you might not know who we really are. Some people think we manufacture mirrors, and technically, they're right. But our mirrors eliminate glare and open your garage door. They pay your tolls and record video in case you get in an accident. They can even scan your iris and monitor alertness. Some really aren't mirrors at all. You see, at Gentex, we make some of the world's most advanced electronic modules. And to do that requires the most sophisticated manufacturing operations around. Clean rooms for manufacturing advanced sensors and camera imagers. Electronic assembly lines that manufacture hundreds of thousands of circuit boards each and every day. Glass bending and coating operations the size of a football field for manufacturing dimmable glass. Robotics labs for automating critical processes. And final assembly lines where it all comes together. The software, the hardware, the glass, the optics, the electronics. Sophisticated manufacturing operations like this are run by people like you. People with a propensity to learn, who enjoy an innovative, fast-paced team environment, with opportunities for advancement, money for college, all within a safe, climate-controlled, world-class corporate campus. That's who Gentex really is, and that's what manufacturing is all about. Hi, I'm Danny Catania, talent acquisition manager at Gentex. Sometimes life comes at you hard and fast. People want you to have a vision of your future. They want you to make decisions about school, career, and family. At Gentex, we'll help you find your vision and progress at your pace. I started here 18 years ago in manufacturing. Gentex paid for college as I advanced from hourly operator to team leader, group leader, and then department manager. Gentex even paid for me to go back to school for an associate's degree in manufacturing technology. Today I work in human resources, and Gentex has supported my vision every step along the way, and we can do the same for you. All right, so I'm going to talk about some growth and opportunities. Um, and the cool thing about what I'm going to talk about, which is obviously I want you to know that Gentex has these opportunities as well, but I think manufacturing in general, there's so many different routes and paths for people to uh, to choose from no matter what stage in, in life you are. But uh, tuition reimbursement, uh, you heard the story about um, my tuition reimbursement, and I needed it for college, and I'll talk about that in a little bit too. Um, internships, we had about 70 interns last year. We'll talk about that for a second. Entry-level engineering, we have hourly opportunities, apprenticeships, and then skills trades training. I mean, this is so important. Um, there's definitely a lack in uh, this country of skilled trades. So, you know, you think plumbing and um, welding and woodworking. And we, uh, um, it's important that people understand that these jobs are great jobs that pay very well and, and they're needed. So 
um, not just here, but kind of around the country. Uh, so for us, for some of our fresh university grad opportunities, um, we work with a lot of universities um, all over the state, outside of the state as well, but our production sport engineers and material sport engineers are entry level engineering positions, engineering techs, uh, software test engineers, embedded engineers, chemical process engineers, hardware engineers, marketing, purchasing, sales, HR, and then IT. So these are, you know, fresh out of college um, positions that we have available um, all the time, really. And then our internship opportunities. So like I talked about this past summer, we had about 70. We'll have a little bit more than that, um, looks like in 2021, and we're still filling those right now. Um, we approximately have 10 current co-ops. So these are uh, students that work throughout the school year um, in different rotations. Uh, and our, inter our inter intern experience is designed to see the entire value stream of Gentech. So um, I talked about being fully integrated, which basically means um, we start the process from sales to marketing to design all the way to building the product. So we're not buying um, circuit boards from Silicon Valley. We are designing and populating those ourselves. Um, and then creating lifelong relationships, not only with other interns, but other uh, people at Gentex and uh, value added learning and contribution. Um, interest opportunity is pretty great. Um, and you get to he do some real value added work and then learning from real um, managers and, and engineers. Um, and for our high school experience, now this is particularly talking about engineering uh, positions. We do hire quite a few engineers, um, but we're looking for leadership examples, some STEM class focus, uh, maker shop, maker space or shop experience, uh, some computer aid design experience. A lot of gamers do very well in our software departments. Uh, communication skills, very important. Um, no matter what position you're in, you're gonna have to be able to communicate at some point and communicate well and care about people. Hands on. Um, and then we are we do look for a, a good GPA and SAT, ACT score. So those grades, I would say, do matter when you're looking for, uh, you know, jobs coming out of college. And then there's also and other companies talked about it too, and it's true. There's so much opportunity for growth, even if you don't have a college education. I talked about skilled trades. It's needed everywhere. Uh, we have our, our frontline leader, our team member support positions, warehouse, quality, maintenance, associate tech, IE assistance, production quality assistance, account payable, human resources. Uh, so many positions where um, it, there's no specific path to success um, at Gentech or manufacturing in general. Um, for instance, I mean, when I was 17 years old, I wasn't, uh, I would say not making the best choices all the time. Um, and then, uh, and I did, uh, at my at time, that time, my girlfriend pregnant at 17 years old. So you know, I'm a 17 year old, graduate 18 with a child, don't know what to do, I can't pay for college. Um, so the path wasn't, you know, perfectly lined up for me, but um, I always believe we always have two choices. You have one choice to let that circumstance dictate how you live your life and blame other things on how you decide what you do with your life, but then you can always um, rise up, you know, grind, and then make things happen. And there's opportunity for you, not just at Gentex, not just manufacturing, but all these great companies that talk today, there's always those opportunities to do well in this community. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, you can always, uh, uh, Gentex.com, um, look at our careers, Gentex.com slash careers. Um, but thank you for your time. Hope you learned some good stuff today. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate that as well. So we do have some time for questions. Actually, we have some, a lot of time for questions. So I am going to start with Mandy and Johnny. Uh, and my first question is, if you can kind of just briefly go through a little bit that step program, step up program, and what's the minimum age to participate in that program? Um, the step up program, uh, we hire anybody starting at 16 years old. And from the day you enter, um, based on your skills, your knowledge, your background, things like that, you can grow through the program as quickly or as slowly as you would like. We have people that have been with us for multiple years that like being a cashier. That's what they love doing. They like interacting with the guests. They have no um, desire to be a leader or anything like that is great. We have others that will go through the program very quickly, grow into either night managers or shift leaders, assistant managers. And uh, so it's all paced per individual. And it's, uh, you know, what your interest is as well. I mean, we have a wash operations mechanics team that's be dealing with the state of the art car wash for the, all the stainless steel and then the equipment, the computer systems. Uh, so there's a lot of IT kind of background as well. So really that career path is individualized and, and where you want uh, to go and what you want your story to be. 
A couple examples of even uh, we have a team member who is now our on staff videographer and he started when he was 16 working at the car wash and has grown into be part of our video team and our marketing team now. Uh, so there's continual growth. There's, I'd like to say, a lot of branches into the paths and directions that you can go. You know, there's a couple of questions for Gentex uh, that, that our students have asked. Uh, do you have more than one location at Gentex? Yeah, I was typing it out, actually. Um, so we have multiple facilities in Zealand um, and one in Holland and on James Street as well. But we have uh, offices all over the world um, working with our uh, customers. So in Asia, Germany, um, China, Japan. Um, so we have offices all over the world. But most, like I said, about 50, 100 of those employees are right here in the West Michigan area. Next question, Royal Technologies. Um, what is your minimum age? And... Um, what summer opportunities or do you have summer opportunities? Megan, do you want to kind of share a little bit what some of the things you have going with recruiting? Yeah, so uh, to work at Royal Technology, since you are working directly on our machines, um, you we do require the age to be 18. Um, so after you graduate from high school, you'd be able to start here at Royal Technologies. And our summer students are really just an extension of our full-time team. So you're working directly with our full-time team members, um, learning the same products, the products that we do, the same process, you do the paperwork. Um, so it's really just an extension of our operators and assemblers out on the floor. Um, and then if you're looking, if you're not sure if you want to go to college, you can stay on past just those summer months. Um, if you are going to college, then you can come back recurring summers. Um, so we offer lots of different opportunities for you to really get to know the business. Um, if you start as an operator and are going into like an engineering field, you could do an internship after that. Um, so yeah, your, our summer students are really just integrated in our culture uh, with a lot of our full-time team members. Thank you, this question's for you. All of our manufacturers this morning have talked about kind of two pathways to uh, join uh, a manufacturer, either working your way up without a college degree or going to college and, and joining. What path would you recommend for students? You know, I think it depends on the person. Um, for me, it was definitely just going straight to work, uh, hands-on person. Um, so if you're active, hands-on, um, you know, sitting in a classroom is me. There's someone who does like to sit in a classroom and learn, and you maybe know more of a specific um, direction you want to go. If you know you want to be in sales, or you know exactly what you want to do, then I think school is a good way to go. But I also think if you necessarily don't know, or if you really just want to work and be in bond, it works too. I personally loved just going straight to work and jumping into a career. I've gotten to do many different things and not being stuck in the same thing has been nice for me. There's so many nice variety also. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we're having a tough time hearing you. I, I think that your mic has dropped out. Daniel, do um, you mind taking over that question for her? I know that uh, that you had spoken about kind of the two pathways initially. Yeah, sure. I I, I, I got what Stacey was saying before sort of breaking up, but uh, I do um, I'd agree with her that there's there's no right answer to that question, right? I think it's based on life circumstances, based on, um, yeah, like I told, like I knew that I was going to go to college. There's no way I could do it when I was 18 years old. I couldn't afford it. So, you know, working in a manufacturer um, that allowed me to work, you know, help support my child and then pay for school, that worked for me. Some people have the opportunity to go to college right away, and that's awesome. If you can do that, do it, and it's what you want to do, do it. But I don't think that just because you don't do it that way doesn't mean it's the right way. I, 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 like I said, it's you, um, how you, just who you are as a person, life circumstances, that's what dictates what's the right answer. My opinion. Thank you, Daniel and Stacy both. I appreciate your answers. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties, Stacy. Uh, I'm gonna ask this and I think I'll, I'll go to Daniel again. Just um, would, how, what would you say to people who say, okay, manufacturing, I'm not a technical person. I'm a people person. Um, so what is there for me at a manufacturing uh, facility? Yeah, well, I hope that everybody we hire is a people person in some, some sense, right? So you know, our, our technical uh, uh, people need to be able to, to communicate. And it's important that no matter who you are, you have to be able to communicate. And then not only that, but actually care about other people. Um, but I understand that, you know, some people 
uh, don't think technically. I, I don't either. Like I went back to get my associates in manufacturing technology. I mean, I, I could do it. I wasn't great at it, but I could do it. Um, but uh, we it's human resources, right? There's marketing, there's sales, there's, um, I, there's so many different possibilities for people who, different business functions who maybe say that I'd, I'd rather work with people than um, with uh, the technology. And then I can't remember who said it earlier, but they're talking about the, so many different functions of human resources. That might've been Stacy. Um, the whole many different functions of human resources, and there are. There's so many different functions of HR where um, being able to work with people is important. Megan, I saw you nodding your head as Daniel was talking. Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, yeah, I just, I agree with both Stacy and Daniel. Uh, there's not one size fits all approach. Um, we, you know, when we start, people start as operators and they move up here or they come as an engineer, we really try to uh, make sure that they have room to grow, but that they're also um, working on their current skills. Um, I agree that we also hire people for the people. So, um, which is why we, for our summer students and for our operators, we don't need any experience because we're not necessarily looking for, oh, I've been in manufacturing for 20 years. Um, we're looking for the person. So, so if you're someone who is excited, eager, um, someone who wants to grow and develop as a person, we would love to have all those types of people join our team as well as I know Gentex and Herman Miller, all of us, we're all looking for those types of people. Mandy and Johnny, this question's for you. How do you keep your business fun? I mean, if we work for Quality Car Wash, how do your employees keep it fun every day? Well, um, number one, it's our guests, uh, the interaction with the guests, uh, our customers every day. Um, we have an opportunity to impact somebody's life every day. And you guys were just mentioning, talking about people and uh, those relationships that are built. Uh, that is a great deal of fun as a team member. Um, our leadership also provides uh, uh, budgets and opportunities for teams to go out and do things together. Uh, we have rallies twice a year where there's just big celebrations for our team members uh, where we cover their locations and they come to uh, prior to COVID, we would do it at a big church. Uh, but uh, uh, with COVID, we're all distance and we're outside and, and you know, doing great things uh, that's encouraging and fun. And so those are just a few of the ways that uh, we encourage fun. Um, but that connection of people um, building the team and connecting team and doing life, living life together um, is, can be a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's important to know that we have over like 150 team members, but each location is like its own little family because typically you will work at one location. Maybe if you want to transfer between locations, you can, but it's like working with your, you know, family and friends and uh, they create their own fun on site. They do dinners together, they order out, uh, and it's just that small atmosphere. You're typically working with three, four, five other people at the same time. So nobody ever works alone. You've always got somebody there with you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys uh, hire people that are perhaps under 18 years old. One of our students wants to know how many of our manufacturers hire uh, students under 18? We will definitely hire under 18. Yeah. And <clears throat> it is a focus to, uh, you know, obviously the 16 year olds, uh, we understand why some manufacturers can't and that, that makes sense and legally you know, binding rights. So, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, 16 uh, is very important. Uh, I'm connected in the, in the uh, community with youth, uh, do some coaching as well. And so those are things that are very important to us, but also uh, the community, the people that are, uh, you know, marginalized sometimes uh, disabilities, um, um, different areas that uh, when you hire for the people, we can teach and train the skill. Um, I think that's what uh, Megan and, and Daniel and Stacy were all referring to, but um, that is something that is very important. And I think this is a small community. And I know Daniel takes several of our people once they turn 18, but we like to um, know that when we're passing them on and Daniel sees on their application that they worked with us, that it's a fantastic experiment and they've got a great culture background working with us. So if you can come start with us at 16, it's going to open your doors to some of these other manufacturers at 18 with already some great work ethics and culture. All right. Um... I was going to say, let's talk a little bit too um, with Royal Technologies and how your environment and how do you bring fun into the workplace? How do you connect with people? 
So we have each bay is a business. So it's probably six to eight people in each team. So there's teams within teams. So we've got about 900 people total in Hudsonville. But on a team of six, we do a lot of things like it could be potlucks. Right now with COVID, it's a little bit different, but we did a pumpkin carving contest. We're getting ready to do a charity in the next few months. Again, just to help, but again, it's trying to have fun. And we kind of say that the royal difference is the values. And we have integrity, trust, and respect. And that's how we want to treat each other each day. We want to be a good steward of our talents and our abilities. We want to work inside of a team, uh, work hard, and being excellent in that. And again, every day we come in, maybe eight to 10 hours. So how do we make it the best part of the day to come in? So as people come in, we want it to be an enjoyable place where, again, as Jackie mentioned, just being a part of a team, and you're going to be building parts, but you're part of something bigger than that and where people are going to notice if you're not there that day. But again, we want to make it an environment where, again, people enjoy coming in and have a great time, along with we have great at retirement and benefits, just like the rest of the companies. But again, we want to make it a place where people enjoy just coming into work and helping out, even if there's some overtime also. Yeah, and you can check out our Facebook page. We like to feature a lot of what we do on there um, because a big part of Royal is our company culture. Um, we're not quite as big, but that means sometimes we can focus on our culture a bit more maybe. Um, and so we did like a, a Spirit Wear Day, U of M versus MSU. Um, we have lots of events that happen at each of our facilities, whether it's in Michigan or outside um, down in Alabama or Texas where our other two facilities are located. Um, um, so yeah, feel free to check us out on social media as well. Jesse, let's get you talking here. Uh, I know that Royal in their benefits and in their culture is partially employee owned. Can you talk to the, about that a little bit? As far as being employee owned, you know, just that's a great retirement thing that, you know, a lot of the young people don't necessarily understand coming into it. Um, you know, a lot of people, you hear about stocks and you hear about that stuff. But just being a part of the company, owning it, knowing that what you're doing every day is a big, you know, is, is contributing to your retirement, contributing to Royal. Um, so it, it just gives you a lot of ownership in it. I know we had Carter ask a question about tuition reimbursement and Daniel, we, you responded to them. But if, um, if uh, Megan, if you can take that, do you have tuition reimbursement? And Stacy, I'm going to ask you to go in the question and answer box and maybe since you're, you're, um, you can type your answer in there. Yeah, so Royal does offer some tuition reimbursement. So as you're moving up through our company, um, depending on what you're looking at going into, um, we will offer some tuition reimbursement for your classes. Um, so if your uh, major and everything is something that you would use here at Royal. Um, so if you're looking at engineering or something like that, we do offer opportunities for you to have that discussion with your supervisor, um, our production manager to see uh, different options that we can have going forward with college classes. See, if I'm a student and I'm close to 18 and I want to work for Herman Miller or I just turned 18, what's the best way for me to go about applying? The best way, there's two different ways. Um, you can start through a temp service. Um, that's how I started. I actually applied through a deco. And then um, after a deco, there's also a uh, manpower that you can apply through. Or you can go straight to our website at www.miller.com slash careers and apply on there and then get direct hired. Um, we also do a lot of, um, and then we have a lot of those careers. Um, you can just drive right by the building. We'll have dates and what the careers are as well. I think right now with COVID, we don't have as many, but maybe we'll see. Okay, this question is for quality car wash. And I think Alex wants to know, how did you deal with COVID? Yep. Yeah, we were just uh, responding to that, uh, typing that in. But yeah, with, we've uh, had to pivot and... Uh, really uh, prepare our location team members. But some of the things that we've done, um, provided mask, uh, plexiglass shields to separate the, the team member from the guests. Um, we've increased our cleaning, uh, hourly wipe downs of, of all of our uh, countertops and, and location pumps, um, the vacuums and so forth, uh, definitely. So those are some of the things that we've done. We've also seen an increase on our monthly unlimited club. So there's no contact. And uh, that's really nice, uh, especially in COVID, but uh, more and more people want that quick service, uh, a great experience uh, without having to talk to somebody. 
uh, sometimes. So uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, during the shutdown, it was interesting uh, to see like moms or dads and their kids coming through the wash because it was no contact. They just pull up, the gates open and uh, get processed. So it was something to actually go out and do uh, without being in contact with other people. But um, yeah, our team has been uh, very adaptive and we just kind of keep, you know, each day is a little bit new and things are kind of ramping up again, but definitely just a lot of cleaning and we have everybody on our team has been very, very healthy. We've had no issues. So. And to Mandy's point, hopefully you guys went to the tunnel of terror, but again, <laughs> something fun to do where you stay separated. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, those are the things we're doing. Last question for Daniel. Uh, Daniel, I think a number of us could see ourselves in your story about how, how you got started in manufacturing and choices you made when you were younger. You must have had some great mentorship at, at uh, Gentex along the way. And now you're in a role where you can provide some of that mentorship. Can you tell our students about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, for sure. So I knew when I started here that I had some talents for some things. Um, but there's always someone there that, that saw that, right? And gave me the opportunity to do um, different things at Gentech. So starting on, on the floor and then doing that, that initial um, leadership, right? So there's, I have a few mentors here that along the way have not only seen potential, but then challenged me to not allow me to make excuses on why I can't do something, right? I talked about that, you know, the two choices we always have. Well, I think the people that care about you the most are the ones that are hard on you sometimes. Right. Because I think when you don't get uh, proper feedback, um, it's I, the way I look at that. It's, it's more about that person's selfishness. Like it hurts me to be able to say that to you because it's hard to give feedback. That just means I don't care about you enough to let you know that you need to improve on this. so You can do better. That's how I look at that. Right. So, I mean, do it in love, tough love. And that's the, the, the two words we talk about a lot is tough love. Right. Um, and then, yeah, in, in my role now. You know, just my role now, it's um, I've never been one to chase kind of titles. I've always wanted to do more about how can I affect the people around me? How can I do the best good? And it was always something different. It was, you know, leading a, a couple of lines and it was leading a building. And I was like, you know what? I think that I can do good in the community. And cause I do think that when you offer someone a job, um, the cool thing, I have a window in my office and I can see people after they get jobs from my team, see them dancing, right? Or, or crying. The happiness. It's the coolest thing ever, right? And a lot of people in this room probably have seen the same thing. And um, I really believe that we change people's lives. We offer them opportunity to put food on their table, to pay rent um, in this community that we all live in. I mean, I, I love the Tommy Express. And I, I love that. And uh, if, if we're not uh, allowing people to work in this area, there's no one's going to go be able to go hit that car wash, right? Um, uh, Herman Miller does it. Royal does it. And we have some great um, companies around here that provide that for our community. And um, I really believe that we uh, change people's lives. Thank, thank you very much. You know what I've really enjoyed, and I don't know if students have you've seen this, just the connection between all of the, um, all the manufacturers here and, and how Mandy's team will go to Gentex and how Gentex and Royal work together and on and on. So thank you so much for that. I think you gave, and, and panelists, you did a great job of just kind of letting us know what it's like to work in your organizations and the opportunities, the multiple opportunities that are there. So students, um, once this uh, webinar closes, you will, a survey will pop up. We'd love for you to fill that out and give us your feedback. If you're watching it as a class, please ask your teacher to uh, send you the survey and you can complete that. As well within that survey, they, is, there's information if you are a senior and you have interest in going into manufacturing, we are offering six $500 scholarships. So if you can fill that out, we'd love to hear from you as well. And then this and every one of our other webinars this week are going to be recorded and uploaded to a YouTube channel called Discover Manufacturing. So if you wanna see this, share this, or look at our other videos, please look there. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. We hope you have a wonderful day. To all of our panelists, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Have a wonderful Friday.